Police officers, one police officer does something wrong, and we want to say all police officers are horrible. Well, that's not true. In my family, we have Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Frank Quiñegas. I am the ambassador of reading. And today's topic is about what's happening around the world with the riots. In 1992, we had uh, major riots here in LA and then now 2020. But I wanna start, if you want more information about how long the riots have been going on and at what times and what cities, you can go to that little phone that you have and it'll give you a lot of information. But let me tell you, What's going on with uh, our team? We decided that we were going to talk about what's happening to share with you some of our views, especially my view. You know, I wrote the book, uh, What Are You Looking For? And what are you looking for? In that book, I talk about one of my heroes, which is um, Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman didn't agree with being a slave and being told what to do by her husband and saying, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, thank you, ma'am, or sir. And she said, I'm going to get out, and she got out. <clears throat> Once she got out, she didn't have to come back, but she felt the need to come back and help others. She found a way, and her way was the North Star. And let me tell you what's beautiful about how I think I, I want to connect this whole deal that's going on. Harriet Tubman got to use the Underground Railroad, and the Underground, underground Railroad, you know, it's, there's, there's no train on it. It was people that believed that slavery was n not good, that, that it was bad. And the way they contributed, they would leave a light on. And if Harriet or any other person was um, helping out with the slavery, against slavery, they knew they could stop there, get some rest, get some food, get some water, and then continue with their day. Well, guess who were those people that had the light on? It wasn't black people. It was white people. And so nowadays, people want to put, like, white people are bad. Well, I don't, I, I feel kind of like, I feel bad that we don't highlight these people that put their life on the line to make a difference for those people that were slaves. Every time they turned on the light, if they were caught, they would have probably been hung and, or killed. And, you know, for them, they knew it was wrong and they knew they had to do something so they would turn on the light for somebody else to have their freedom. Now, times go by and now we have, you know, most recently Martin Luther King doing the walks and doing the speeches and making a difference, he wasn't by himself. There was a lot of different people from around the world making a difference with Martin Luther King. Um, <clears throat> take it to, uh, let's take it to me, to my personal life. I was born in 1964, and I got here to the United States in 1973, from what I recall, 1973. I remember the first lady that inspired me to be a teacher, her name, Miss McBreen. Beautiful lady, beautiful white lady, black hair, beautiful black hair, beautiful white skin. And she was so nice, so kind to everybody in the class, me, of course, included. And I, I got so touched by the way she was and how beautiful and how nice she was that I said, I want to be a teacher uh, like Ms. McBreen when I grow up. Along the way, Cheryl Chang made a difference. She's a teacher, uh, Miss Miller. White lady, beautiful white lady. She, uh, being around Ms. Miller, was being around a family member. And so when, I think the mistake is when people want to bunch people together. People want to say all white people are bad, all black people are this, all Mexican people are this, or Chinese or German or whatever it is. I think that's where it goes wrong. It's not all. Yeah, we, we are born into a certain race, a certain culture, but we are individuals. And so that's where we make different. That's where the big difference is. You know, this guy, what he did um, to George Floyd, that's wrong. But I think it's even worse for you to say that all, all cops or all white people are bad because it's not true. Um, you know, as a teacher, let me tell you how I connect police officers with teachers. Police officers, one police officer does something wrong and we want to say all police officers are horrible. Well, that's not true. In my family, we have a few officers, plus we have friends that are officers, and they're wonderful people, so I think that's where the mistake goes for somebody to say all officers are bad because this guy is horrible. They're all horrible. Or teachers, 
oh, teachers are lazy. We, they get, they get, they, along their, uh, their lives, they meet somebody that's not doing what they're supposed to do. Maybe they're not going to, uh, they, maybe they don't have a beautiful room environment or they're not keeping up with everything they need to keep up with. And so they say, all teachers are lazy. Well, that's not true. I know so many wonderful, beautiful teachers that go above and beyond. So I think the mistake is where uh, a lot of people just want to bunch people together. We're, we're individuals. We're separate from everybody else. Now the riots, uh, yeah, they have to happen, I guess, only to let out the cry and say, hey, something's wrong. Somebody's got to do something. But to go ahead and destroy our own cities, I remember 1992, it was really super scary. My kid, Adam, he's now 29. He was uh, barely one year old, I think, if one year old. Uh, it was scary to see our own cities be destroyed. And so the challenge as I was growing up, and these are not my words, these words belong to some of the great ones. Um, I just used them for myself and I hope you can use them for, your, for yourself. Um, if you wanna see change, you gotta be the change. How are you gonna change? If you don't change, if you don't change your perspective, how do you expect anybody else to change their perspective? You expect it from them, but you're not willing to do it for you. That's a challenge. How are we going to make this different starting with you or starting with me? Because I know that even though those are not my words, I use them. I use them to uh, benefit me. So how are you going to use them to benefit you and to benefit this community, to benefit the world, to make it different? Uh, I do believe there's negative energy and positive energy or mean people and nice people. And they're meeting. They're meeting in the middle and... You know, there's a commotion going on. I don't know if you've ever seen a cup of water. You put a little bit of dirt and you stir it up and it's all cloudy. You can't see clear. But if you wait a little bit after you stir it, after it's all mixed up, if you wait a little bit, it settles down and it gets clear. I think we're going to get into clarity now because uh, I think it's enough. Uh, I think if uh, in 1992 it happened here in the United States with Rodney King, uh, 2020, George Floyd is worldwide. And I think people that... I, I think people have had enough, no more, let's make it good for everybody, let's make it fair for everybody, we could all get along. That was a big one in Rodney King, can we all just get along? Well, I think it's time we all get along. Can you see someone and not judge? Can you see someone and be nice and be fair? Don't bunch them up and say they're all like this. And just as a, con as a conclusion, we wouldn't be here nowadays if there were not beautiful people all over the world. People have uh, put their lives ahead of, of change. They want to they make a change. So they're, they're willing to put their lives on the line to make a difference. I'm not saying for you to do that. I'm just saying, what are you going to do? The challenge, how are you going to do it? Or what are you going to do to make it different? So that we bring peace into this world, not anger into this world, not riots that hurt people or businesses. What are you going to do? What can you do? Challenge yourself. Hey, how's that for a challenge? All righty then. So if you look into your phone, you're going to see there's been riots for over 100 years. The big one here in California that I got to experience was 1992, and the most current one is 2020. I think we're headed into something beautiful. If you watch this video and you like what you heard, you like what, you, what I talked about, if you don't like it, make a comment. Let me know. Hey, guys, what about this? What about that? And we'll address it. I guarantee you. But if you liked it, if you if you think it's time for peace, for getting along, for treating people individually and then as a group in a positive way, let's do it. Share it. Very well. That'll be it for this video. Till next time, your friend, the ambassador of reading, wishing you well today and always, knowing that you will find and get what you are looking for. Thank you for watching our channel and congratulations for making it here where we give information that benefits the individual that's watching and their loved ones. I invite you to subscribe and be part of our channel, set the notifications and watch the new videos. Thank you and welcome.